Christmas special here on Theme Park Jack and Jack the Fish Crazy Dude. We've got loads to get through today. It's most likely going to be a two part special as it's got a lot coming. Let's get straight into it. Firstly, I'm going to talk about um, the favourite theme parks and roller coasters I've been on this year and the favourite fish and aquariums that I've done this year basically. So there's something for both channels. So as far as roller coasters go, I'm not a fan of inversions. I mean, I don't mind them. I will go on some rides that, I, I mean, I, I love all of these roller coasters that have got like a load of inversions on and things like that. But I prefer them when they haven't and I really like launch coasters. So therefore, Velocity um, at Flamingoland is the one that fits in to the category of rides that I like the most. My favourite theme park that I've been to this year um, I'm going to exclude Lightwater Valley because I'm obviously biased towards them. I'm there all the time. Um, I'd say the third would be the West Midland Safari Park. Second would be Blackpool Pleasure Beach and first would be Dragon Manor. So yeah, quite quite a good selection there of different theme parks. I've been to a few more this year. Um, I'd say I've been to the most theme parks this year that I ever have done. Now, as far as the favourite fish go, the favourite my favourite fish that I bought this year um, is my Bose Marnie rainbow fish. It's a lovely blue, it has like a black colour on it. It has, it's, it has loads of colours on it. My favourite tank that I've done this year um, is definitely the 200 litre planted aquarium, which I'm going to show you later in the video. Um, yeah, it, I think it's amazing. I've done a great job on that in my opinion, not to blow my own not to blow my own trumpet but I think I think it's turned out really well. So um, so now I'm going to showcase all my merchandise that I've got um, in theme parks and I'm also going to showcase my aquarium so I'll be right back. So I, I thought something cool um, to show um, um, the theme park lovers here would be um, my collection of theme park merchandise. Um, so I'm going to quickly run through all of this um, for the aquarium lovers, I am going to show you um, my my um, my aquarium as well. So um, here is my Drayton Manor plastic cup slash mug. Um, my brother bought it me really nice. My Flamingo Land mug, great park. Lightwater Valley um, mug. Um, as you know, I visit Lightwater Valley a lot. It's like my second home as far as theme parks go. Definitely recommend it. There's the Eagle's Claw, the best ride there, it's amazing. Nice fridge magnet, but it stays up on the merch shelf. Um, Lightwater Valley. Wrong way around. Um, what's it? Notepad. Um, got all my Alton Towers mugs, which consist of Galactica, Journey Beyond, 13, Don't Go Alone, Oblivion, Don't Go Down. The Smiler. Really see that, sorry, Rita and Nemesis and um, Ice Age Foggy sunglasses. Um, this isn't anything to do with theme parks, but I have it on my display cabinet instead. Um, that's my great local run wristband, it's something that I do every Sunday. Um, it's a running club thing that you can do all over. Um, it's two kilometres or five kilometres, and it's great. I do it every week. Um, and yeah, they publish your results as well, so that's good. Got a Las Vegas key ring from my uncle and auntie, which is really nice. Um, and the Las Vegas roller coaster um, mug and shot glass from my uncle and auntie when they visited. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got the chance to ride that. Well, I say unfortunately, but I mean, it's hardly a bucket list to ride that thing, is it? Togo, let me say no more. Um, that's my Forbidden Corner mug. Spend a lot of time at the Forbidden Corner. I've stayed there loads, it's great. Um, now I've got my Valhalla. Um, what's it, pin badge. I don't know why I still got this, but I've got my Hyperzone wristband still from Sandcastle Water Park. My nice new Blackpool Pleasure Beach mug, which I didn't get too long ago. Um, that's nice. My Valhalla mug, which you've all seen before. Still nice though. And my pencil case and my 120 years um, fridge magnet. So that's all my theme park merchandise. If you didn't know, I am subscribing to um, the coaster crate thing from next year. So 
that'll be something really interesting and I'm going to show you every month what I get in it and give you a review of them so that's going to be an exciting series on Theme Park Jack. Now let's go downstairs and let's have a look at the fish. Okay, so here is like I said the aquarium, um, it's 200 litres um, as I told you earlier it's um, and it's a great fish tank, it's planted, um, not very um, hard to care for plants um, but I have got a good selection. Got an angel fish, um, a variety of platys, um, some danios, that's a giant danio, an albino bunazaris tetra, um, a lot of different tetras in there, um, some banded loaches, um, a golden algae to which got its head which got its face bruised on the filter pipe, so it's more like a grey algae eater now. Even though it is absolutely fine still, two months on afterwards, it just doesn't seem to want to get its colour back. But it's fine still. Silver tip tetras. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice aquarium. I'm just going to move back a minute. You can see that. Looks quite nice there with the polar bear. Um, yeah, it, it's a really nice fish tank. Um, if you didn't see one of my videos, then you would know. If you then you wouldn't know about this. Cheers, one minute. Let's put on a storm. So it's simulating a storm with the um, the lights in the aquarium. So that's cool. Um, so yeah. Um, that's it for now. Um, let's go on to the next bit, which um, will be one of the final parts of the video. Yes, there you go. You've seen them. They're very good, um, both of them. I like all my theme park merchandise and my aquarium. So now I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Now, some of these questions I have been asked. Some of them I'm just making up, um, like things that questions that I thought like you might have asked because I never gave any warning that I was going to be doing this. So I wanted to make it a bit more of a special video I can tell you two weeks in advance. So, my first one, what is the least favourite roller coaster you have ever ridden? Um, my least favourite roller coaster that I've ever ridden would have to be a wild mouse roller coaster. I hate them, the way they slam you into the sides. Most likely the wild mouse at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. That was awful. It honestly felt like it was about crumble down and I get that the supports on the ride have to shake but when I went on it it was crazy um <laughs> so yeah it, it definitely shaked a bit too much on that ride um second question um what is what is the favourite what is my favourite pond fish that I've ever got I'll do that one I've got a load of, I've got a good selection of them <laughs> um so my favourite pond fish um that I've got would have to be um, the golden orf. I think that they get um, they get quite a quite a long fish, not quite that long, but about this long. Yeah, so they, they get to a good size golden orf do. And I think that they are definitely a good fish to have. Um, I, they've always been really hard to, for me. To say that one of them jumped out of the bag when I was floating them on the pond is um, two years ago now to catch it with my hands on the bare floor yet he still survived somehow how the hell that one made it through I don't know because um, when you float fish I, I like open the bag up to like, like all the, um, the I open the bag up at the end to, um, like to scoop them out um, and when I was about to scoop them out and I just opened the bag up um, it just, did, it just did the leap of faith basically, so I had to go and hunt it down and put it back in, but <laughs> it's doing absolutely fine, it's got no problems whatsoever. Um, yeah, later in the video, um, what's it? I will show you um, some footage of them hibernating, um, but yeah, seems like, yeah, I'll show you the footage of them hibernating now. So, have a look at them hibernating, I'm going to show you a quick video of them, and yeah, they're really cool. See you in a minute. Okay, so this is sort of a part of the Q&A, but sort of not at the same time. Um, now I'm going to tell you 
about my video um, schedule and what I plan to upload in the future. Now, as you can see here, where the new place that I film, I have got my computer. Now, um, well, I'm hopefully getting a new laptop for Christmas. Um, and um, on that laptop, I'll be getting Planet Coaster and hopefully a screen recorder. So, I'm sure you can work that out to what series might be coming on Theme Park Jack, therefore, because of that. Um, so, yeah, that that's a new addition for me. I'm looking forward to it. I've played Planet Coaster. I think it's good, but it definitely needs a more modern computer than um, the one that I've got currently. So, um, this new laptop that um, I've picked out and that I'm hopefully getting um, looks a lot better. Um, okay. So I'm going to be doing Planet Coaster, I'm going to be doing more of the All About videos, I'm going to be um, doing a lot more future prediction and opinions um, for a lot of the UK theme parks, um, I'm going to do a lot of um, countdowns, top 5, top 10s and maybe even top 20s, um, and I might even start doing vlogs um, if I get like, a, su a suitable camera um, one day, then I might start doing vlogs for um, the videos as well. So, yeah, I've got a lot for theme park Jack. The Jack the Fish Crazy Dude, I'm going to carry on doing um, the fish profiles that I just did one on the guppy a while ago. Um, and how to look after them as well. Um, I'm going to show you the construction of my new pond next year. Um, and I'm just, and I'm going to introduce a tank discussion series um, where I talk about how to solve different problems in your aquarium and things like that. So there's a lot coming um, on both next year. I've been planning it for a while now um, and I know exactly what, what I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got a very good schedule for next year. Um, it's going to be really good. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next section. Now in this video it's going to talk a bit more about me personally as well. Um, now I'm going to do my favourite video game in the year. Of the year. Now I do like playing video games. I'm not totally obsessive over them like a lot of people I know are. Nathan. Um, <laughs> and I I do I do definitely um, like my video games. I think that they are good and all, but I I just don't I don't play them loads or anything like that. Um, now my I like. Um, a lot of my favourite games are actually from the old Super Mario series, if you remember that um, series that came out, the games that came out a long time ago, but they just did recently do Super Mario Run for the iPad and I think it's really good actually. So that's going to be my third. My second is going to be Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I think Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is a lot better than Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 because I, ju I just think Tycoon 3 just, just looks a bit strange to be honest. I, I, I'm just not a fan of how difficult it is to place any scenery or things like that. I find it much easier on roller coaster Tycoon 2 um, to do that. So yeah, I'm trying to keep back as knees there. Uh, but definitely roller coaster Tycoon 2 is, is much better than 3. And my top one is Planet Coaster. Now I haven't been able, as I said, to see this game in its full potential so far, but I'm sure that when I can it will be really good, so I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, I think that's almost it for this video. Um, I would just like to say um, a great big thank you for all of the support I've got this year. Um, to say that I used to get two or three views on videos and now I'm getting up to a thousand, um, more than a thousand in some cases absolutely fantastic so it wouldn't it wouldn't have happened like that if it wasn't for all of your guys' help um, so have a great Christmas um, there'll be a few more videos before New Year so I'll see you then and thanks a lot for tuning in for all of these videos so have a great Christmas guys bye